Cute Dinosaurs Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting your nails a variety of pastel colors. On your thumb and ring nail with a light blue paint, we're going to be painting a sort of a fan shape in the middle of your nail. So I'm going to start by painting just like a dot near the tip and then adding different lines coming out from it. Almost as if the start of painting like a spider web or something. And I'm going to connect each of those different segments and fill them in. And now with a darker blue paint, I'm going to be painting a peanut shape, and this is going to be for our dinosaur's head. So start with the bigger section of the peanut shape inside the middle of that lighter blue fan that we made, and then add a smaller area down below for his snout. And I'm going to be filling in around the head off to one side, and this is going to be for his body. Okay, and now with silver, I'm going to be adding three horns, and I'm going to be making two of them going off to each side near the top of his head. And then the last one down near the middle of his nose. Okay, and now I'm going to be adding a line, just defining each of the first lines that we painted for the fan. So just make the little lines defining that in the fan shape. And I'm going to add his eyes with white and a dotting tool. Okay, so I'm going to be outlining the underside of the horns. This is just so I don't lose them because they kind of blend in with the rest and until we finish the outlining, they, they kind of get lost a little bit. So I just decided to outline them so that I, I knew exactly where they were when I was painting everything else. And I'm going to give him two little dots in the center of his eyes for pupils. And then a smile. And I actually forgot to show the outlining on that nail, but that would be a good time to do it now. So then with your index nail and pink paint, I'm going to be painting another dinosaur. This one will be a long neck. So I'm going to paint just a half circle off to the side on the tip of my nail, and then paint his long neck coming up from the other side. And then paint a circle for his head. And then just like the other one, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of a snout. So his head ends up being like an egg shape. And now I'm going to be using some purple paint and painting spikes along his back. And to paint these spikes, they're just triangles that touch each other in the corners. And now I'm going to be adding just a couple little circles for spots on his back. And now just like the other dinosaur, two white eyes. And you want these to be on sort of an upward angle. And then add a smile and his pupils. And outline him. And I'm really sorry I missed the outlining for the other first dinosaur, but at least you can see how it looks after I'm done with this one. Okay, and then on your middle and pinky nail with bright green paint, we're going to be painting a T-Rex. And I'm going to start with his head near the middle of my nail, and it's a jelly bean shape. Or, oh, well, I'm a bean, or, you know, a bean shape. And then I'm going to add his neck down below, and then just the, like his shoulder area, just the, just the very top portion of his body is there as well. And once that's dried, I'm going to be doing some darker green spots for his nostrils. And then using that same green, I'm going to be painting a shadow on his neck. So just like adding in a section on his back. And this color isn't much darker than the first color I used, just enough to know that it's different. And then I'm going to be adding some teeth. And then his two white eyes. And just like the other, the last dinosaur, you want those to be on an upward angle. 
and then I'm going to be giving those teeth an outline to give him a smile and pupils and then outline him. And as you can see, I kind of made his eyes look a little bit goofy or a little bit like he's cross-eyed or something. You know, these are really cute dinosaurs. Have fun with them. Don't feel constrained to the box. Think outside the box. And of course, add a layer of top coat. I hope you like my design, and I would love for you to share your recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.